Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now I am going to explain the project. The title of the project is Double Guard Directing Institution in Multi Tier Web Application. The abstract of this project is An internet service and application have become an inextricable part of daily life, enabling communication and the management of personal information from anywhere. To accommodate this increase in application and data complexity, web services have moved to a multi tier design wherein the web server runs the application front end logic and data are outsourced to a database or file server. In this paper, we present DoubleGuard, an IDA system that models the network behavior of user session across both the front-end web server and back-end database. And now we move on to the workflow diagram of this project. Here is the main database and here is the da client database. And the user enter into the website and he can easily upload and download the file. And here we can discuss about four important attacks that is uh, privilege escalation attack, direct DB attack, feature hijack feature session attack and SQL injection attack. And we are going to give the proper solution for this attack also by using some techniques. The, the technique is IDS server. Therefore, we have IDS server that is admin server. This is called the direction institution system. We are going to secure the process of uh, user upload the files and download the files by at without attacking the by the by hijacker so by using DAS server we can easily prevent the attacks these four attacks can be prevented by using IDS server and this is the workflow diagram of this project now we move on to the project the project is about Visual Studio 2005 it is a front end and uh, SQL Server 2005 as a back end now I am going to run the project by clicking the run button it takes pretty time and here is a sign up form here we can easily sign up or register by clicking the client login button we can enter into our website Eli is a user who is entered into this website we clicking the submit button now he is not available so I am come as a so this is our invalid user so now I am going to sign up Shiva my password is Raj here we also validate the password it is too short so I give Raj Kumar as my password and I also confirm my password I am going to give my email id this is my location and here I answer about here is a security question I answer for the security question my pet name is uh, Yo Johi. I click submit button. After I click submit button, username and password can be created. Now I entered the clean login. Shiva Raj Kumar as my password. Now I enter into the website. I can easily upload the files by clicking the browse button. Upload the sample txt file. Before uploading the file, I am going and sort start the server here the admin enter into the website like this this is the IDS server now the server is started now we can upload the file by clicking the button the upload the information that message can be shown to you here we go and uh, verify that the data can be received now we monitor the user or all the user present in this website get all the user information there is a uh, five user send in this website and then we can go to the first attack by clicking the upgrade privilege get user information in the get user information uh, there, there are several user the user information can be shown to you it is shortly shown to you and further upgraded now I want to give my answer as Jogi in the supreme button there is no you are you are treated as a hacker because you are not giving the correct uh, answer for this question so now you are treated as a hacker like going and seeing this uh, 
rocket privilege hacker attack uh, here in the Siva is it as a privilege attacker so this is the first attack I implemented this first attack now now I am going to for the DD attack here I also search Shivaraj now the query sent to admin but you give you still search for that repeatedly for at least three times or four times you are trying to attack the database so the message box what to you is you are not allowed to view this information now you cannot view this information further because you are treated as an hacker now we go to the uh, by clicking the next button here is a DD attack by clicking view search information Shiva is searching for Shivaraj I view DB attacker here Shivaraj is treated as an TB attacker so the IDS server cannot give the access to this user because he is treated as an attacker and after that we move on to SQL injection attack here we going to select the database and now I am select the clean double guard database and here we going to select the tables if you give the invalid SQL query you are treated as an attacker here I give the cor correct SQL query like this Uh, this user already have the access to view this information so the information can be viewed to this user so to this user if you give the incorrect SQL query now you are treated as an attacker because you are going to attack the deb database so the information is what you don't try to uh, in give invalid queries and now we go and see to that uh, SQL injection attack like this get SQL injection attacker information here it shows that Shiva is treated as an SQL injection attacker so we cannot give the access to this user because he is treated as an attacker so now we move on to the hijack attack the ransack is a button if you click the ransack button so to enter your uh, IP address now I am going to give my IP address now we displayed the word to search now I am going to search the word like pen if I click the search button I already give the access to this user so here the information can be retrieved from the Wikipedia and so to you if you give the wrong IP address and validate it will uh, give you a bogus reply the idea server give you the bogus reply so this is the important security for, uh, from this uh, idea server now we may want the performance evaluation between the privilege investigation here is a time delay between the user and the idea server can be shown to you and here we need a DVD attack and a SQL injection attack also shown to you here we the admin uh, that means the idea server cannot uh, respond to this user only the request time can be shown to you and here the hijack performance here it will display that uh, request and response time of both the user and the idea server and he can easily download the file by clicking download button he view the file and this is the information that contained into that file he can also download the file by clicking the download button here we have to save the file at in any format and now we want to change password we can easily change the password whatever you want and at last we're going to log out from this website so this is the we are now we are going to quit the project by stopping the project and this is all about this project thank you for watching clickmyproject.com